lengths of this hair are 22, 22, 20, 18, and a 16 inch frontal, okay? So I didn't use all four of the bundles. I used actually all three, and then I took a little piece of hair, like probably like this much, from another um, little stash that I have because I didn't really want to open up a brand new bundle if not need be. Let me tell you something, honeys. It is a loose way. The only issue that I had is I hung it upside down to dry and all that goody, good, good stuff. And the only part that wasn't as wavy as the bundles was the actual frontal. So that's the reason why I decided to curl it like this. Now, if you guys want to see a tutorial on how I get these kind of like beachy weights, then go ahead and leave your info or leave it down below. You guys know I love some combs I love the security um, and so I did go ahead and sew them into this unit because I just feel the need to also there is one in the back and I do take the elastic from the cap once I cut it open here or cut it off I'll just use that for the band in the back I mean I do have like a bag full loads of elastic but sometimes why waste what you already have so I went ahead and I sewed that as well I did pre pluck it meaning or I tweezed it because the hairline was not as thick, it wasn't as dense, but it wasn't as thin and pre-plucked as I would have liked it to. So I went ahead and I did that as well. So the hair is affordable. It is good hair. I mean, if you're looking for budget-friendly hair, definitely check them out. Check websites, check different vendors, check reviews, whatever. There's loads of reviews that you can always check it out. So you don't really have to take my word 100%. I have done this hairstyle on my closure wig, so I just wanted to do it this time on my frontal wig. So I'm not gonna keep Keep talking guys ears off we're gonna get into this video I will post all of their information below
like it, okay? I like it a lot. Um, would I say a closure or a frontal is better? Okay, so for me, I think like closures are easier because you don't have to do so much with it throughout. But um, I guess a frontal look a little bit more natural or give you the comfortability to do other things. Me personally, I wouldn't like pull it up, but I do like it if it's really nice and snug, um, not too tight, not too loose. The first times that I made these frontals, I had such a problem, like this whirlwind of issues. Like, so I'm really, really like liking to make them right now. Um, what else? Um, they have gotten easier, especially, you know, you just, it's just like trial and error. But, um, as for the tweezing part that I did, I did a really good job. The only thing that I have not gotten down packed, and I think it's only because I don't want to, I do, I see a lot of people, they will gel like their baby hairs down from the wig. I will not and cannot do that for the life of me. I don't know why I can't get it down pat. It's probably because I already have my own hair slicked down underneath. And I have this thing with like, no, I'm not going to slick the wig hair down. I don't know why, but I just won't. I, and it's probably because I'm just so stubborn. So I'm pretty sure that I could just do it the way I want to do it. I mean, I guess, you know what? Sometimes you can't treat, um, trick, um, teach, you. sometimes you cannot teach an old dog new tricks. And, like, it works best for me the way that I do it, and it looks natural, and you'll never be able to tell. And some other people, it doesn't work that way for them. So, I guess it all depends on what you like and what works best for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, some people like to slick their whole wig hair, baby hairs down. And it looks so nice on some people. And then there's those who just do too much, and it doesn't look great. And then there's those like myself who just don't want to do all of that. So, I understand and I get it. Like, it's all up to the person. It's your preferences. But other than that, honey, let's talk about the hair so when I washed it yes it did shed um, it didn't shed excessively but it shed you know what I'm saying I put um, conditioner in it I allowed it to sit in there for like 10 minutes I brushed it through thoroughly you know what I'm saying and that's about it and I rinsed it out I didn't really do too much this hair once I rinsed it out I did spray some leave-in conditioner in it because I love leave-in conditioner it allows the hair to just be soft and manageable at all times so that's one